Hey guys, Steve Watch here, Beamer Toyota in Nashville. Uh, gonna help you guys out with the Smart Flow system. This is a Toyota system. It's actually it's a pretty, uh, pretty cool system uh, overall. So I'm just gonna tell you how it works, and especially in this Highlander, exactly what you need to do if you want to shut it off. All right. So if you're looking here, I'm in a hybrid Highlander. This has the 12.3 screen. All right. So this one's uh, actually a platinum, but it's it's you know. In the smaller uh, trim levels, it'll still be that smaller. In the uh, lesser trim levels, it'll still be this way. What you'll notice here is that you you have tri climate control, so you have a three stage climate control system here. So you can do the driver, the passenger, and the back. But you'll notice there's no number on the passenger and there's no number on the back seat. So you might say, why? All right. So I'll also tell you here, and I'm going to answer that question here in a second. I'll tell you here. I have air coming from here. I have air coming from here. I have no air from here and I have no air from there. All right. And then definitely no air in the third row. All right. So what this system is designed to do, is called the smart flow system. It's designed to focus the climate control, whether it's heat, air, whatever, focus the climate control on the passengers that are in the vehicle. Whether you have eight passengers, uh, seven passengers or one passenger, when it can sense, if you see right here, where there's somebody in a seat, all right? And it shows me that I'm in a seat there, all right? It can sense for seat belts, it can sense for weight. So it watches for a butt in the seat. If there's no butt in the seat, it's going to be in a smart system. Now, this is the default system. Now, some people like me, I like air blowing everywhere all the time. I don't really care to shut it off. If that's you, or if, if for some reason it doesn't sense, like maybe you have a... Uh, a newborn in the back and it's not quite to about i believe it senses about 30 pounds all right so if you don't quite have that in the back maybe you have you know you want to get the air going to the back all right now you can do this you can actually you know turn this up now see it's going to do all of this for you but here is your button that's your smart flow so now what you'll see is i've come back over here so i had turned it on initially and you can turn that on but if you want it to be off hit the option Turn off the smart flow. This is your smart flow icon, and it's hidden on this particular vehicle for some reason. But hit your option, shut that off, it'll show S flow off, right? And now you'll see you have all of your heating, your air conditioning, all of your controls are here. You can go to the back, you can change the temperature in the back. Everything is right here, all right? So that's your smart flow system, right? Turn it on come back turn it off I mean obviously you turn this off now I have noticed that when you have it on and you turn it off it still keeps both of the driver and passengers on while shutting off the back if you already have the vehicle running and you uh, uh, turn it off from the uh, s-flow system so that you have air blowing on you now if you wanted that off for whatever reason I mean play with it and see what you know what you're doing with what but um, realistically it's it looks like we have to uh, shut it off in order to get that because see once I shut the car off and turn it back on everything fires back up and we go through our Toyota screen and all of that and then you see it's back onto the smart flow option now what so and then you can come back and you can turn it back on but it's just kind of the way that works out all right, so now here's what I want to show you. I told you that this is the top of the line. This is a platinum, all right? So follow me here. I'm going to go one car over. I'll skip a car, but one car over here. And what I want to show you is this particular one. And these are both hybrids. It doesn't have to be a hybrid. Hybrids, non-hybrids, they have them alike, all right? But this is a base level, all right? Your base level Highlander. And what I want to show you over here is kind of the same thing. It's a little different on how your, you know, climate control is working in that. All right. Well, what I'm going to show you here is that you have the same system. It's just not in this screen. It's right here. All right. You hit this system and you'll be able to see that it's going to do the exact same thing that it did for the other side um, or for the uh, other system. It's gonna do the exact same thing. And you can hit this auto button here and it'll you know, adjust itself or whatever it needs to do. But you'll notice um, 
that there will be no, and actually this one is right here just because it's off. But when you turn this off, you'll notice it will shut this side off and it will shut this one off um, if you've set it that way. So, um, like I said, just kind of letting you guys know how it works. It's the smart flow system on your Toyota Highlander. Uh, whichever system that you have, it's going to work the exact same way. It's just a little different on turning it on and turning it off. So the system will watch for front seat passengers, back seat passengers. Uh, you can see on the very center of that screen there, it's a little different screen, still shows you the same thing. Um, hybrid, non-hybrid, basically any Highlander, this is gonna be the system for your smart flow on. And it's, like I said, it's meant to get you hotter or cooler, whatever you want for the passengers in the car. Um, now on the hybrid, here's your kind of, I guess you could say caveat to it on the hybrid by doing that particular thing, you're actually going to save a little bit of energy because you're not running all of your, your heat and air. All right. So if you're not running all of your heat and air system, you use less energy. The engine doesn't have to run as much. You, uh, obviously get a little bit better fuel economy, uh, over time. Now, um, are you going to save five miles a gallon? No, it, no. Um, but could you save a quarter mile a gallon? Sure. Half mile a gallon? Who knows? However much energy that's going to be using, when you've shut it off, you're no longer using that energy. So, um, like I said, I just wanted to show you guys that and show you guys how that system works. Um, obviously, if you have a butt in the seat uh, in the front, butt in the seat in the back, it's going gonna, it's gonna to sense that. And it's uh, you can still um, basically... Um, Turn, turn that system on and then it watches for those butts all right but if you um, if you guys want to uh, save a little bit of energy or obviously cool down or speed up a little bit uh, faster for um, how comfortable you guys are that's definitely going to uh, going to help you guys to uh, like I said just just be more comfortable save a little bit of energy it's a system that's available on all of them so base model mid-range this is your xle your hybrid is going to be available on all of them all the way across the line your top two levels your limited and your platinum can have that bigger screen that i showed you um now i will tell you that if the the limited can have the smaller screen as well um but you can have either one of them so if you're looking for uh that bigger screen, but you don't want to go all the way up to the platinum. You don't have to. But if you uh, if you're looking for a little bit of uh, you know a hidden gem inside the uh, the system when it comes to uh, your air conditioner and how it blows on you, and actually that it focuses on you as the driver or focuses on you as the driver passenger. Um, it's a really cool system to use. Um, it came out originally on the Prius, um, and they've used it on several cars since then. It's also on your RAV4. Um, it's also going to use the same icon. It's going to use the same way to uh, turn it on, turn it off. Uh, but the one with the big screen, it's kind of hidden there. And that's kind of why I wanted to show you guys that it's hidden on the back there and it could be a little bit more difficult to find it. So um, definitely have a great inventory going on right now, guys. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Um, if you're looking for a, a Highlander, if you're looking for a, a Corolla, looking for RAV4s, I've got a little bit of everything right now, guys. So um, even the XSE, the all new XSE in the, uh, um, in your uh, Highlander. And I had one down here, and it's around here somewhere, but even an XSE uh, in white with the red interior. So if you guys are looking for the right, the uh, white with the red interior on your XSE, um, that's something else that I have for you guys as well. So um, definitely let me know if I can help you guys out with anything. If you guys are looking for a car, want to come to the Nashville area, um, definitely I'd love to help you guys out. Had somebody fly in today, uh, took their Highlander home, so uh, definitely appreciate you. You know who you are. Um, but uh, let me know if uh, I can help you guys with anything when it comes to the Highlander, anything when it comes to the, you know, Tacomas, 
Camrys, whatever it is. If you guys have a question, put it in the comments. I'm going to figure it out and I'm going to uh, answer it if I don't already know the answer. So Steve Welch with Beam and Toyota in downtown Nashville. Hope you guys have a great day and uh, we're coming up on winter, so definitely be safe. Uh, let me know if I can help you guys out. Steve Welch, Beam and Toyota. Have a great day.